Hello everybody, welcome to Right Let's Play Episode 1. Right of the Jungle. Let's try this game out. How's the sound? It shouldn't be too loud. Learning to jump. A little bit floaty on the controls. Oh, so that thing must open up the door. Oh my- why are all of these... ...annoying to get to? Learning to a wall jump? Like the presentation of this. Clean. Reduction. I almost fell. I wasn't supposed to touch that, was I? Zero out of twenty. This game definitely seems like one of those uh, pure platformers. I do like. I saw a suspense play this a while ago. Gotta really get next to that saw, huh? Okay. I didn't need to grab those like I did. Cross point. This game is just like a pretty chill platformer. I like it. I'm not sure if that wind actually affects the platforming or not. It doesn't look like it. At least it's not as obvious as like Celeste. With Celeste's wind level, you definitely felt it.
Not sure if there's variable height jumping. Yeah, it looks like it's always the same. Okay, that's a cool level. Interesting, at the end you just kind of leave. There's not really any spikes on the ground or anything. Oh, I can tell that is gonna be a big obstacle. Sharp introduction. Wait a sec. Let me turn my volume down a bit. Should hurt my ears a little bit less. So the start is the same as the end door for some of these. Top hat. Definitely seems like a 10 second ninja type of game, where people that really like uh, doing ILs will pog. It's like, oh, the whole game is an IL. One screen precision games? Yeah. Are there any non-precision platformers? I guess there's like easy platformers. It's a little bit annoying you don't spawn on the ground so you can't really just like jump at the start of a level. Very pretty.
I guess so. Ah, oh, that's fucking wall. That was so cringe. I, I have to get this. Conversely, Kaizo Mario World is a precision platformer because its purpose is to provide a playground for mastery. You go into a level enough to really understand it and the game's core mechanics. Yeah. Yuval says that I suck and yet does not hold the world record for right any percent. Rather curious. Casual platformers have more leniency. Oh, did I beat the first stage? Let's go, gamers. Beat run. I think I got tied world record. Alright, tied IL. I gotta submit that to speedrun.com later. Even though people don't like that website anymore because all the ads and things they do. Wait, how do I get that jump without killing myself? Oh, that's weird. Why did I die the first time? Crap. people run right 90% or right all coins. 
because I feel like all coins would be more satisfying, but 90% would probably be faster. Damn, son. Uh, he bonked his little right head into the wall. Swag. I missed a coin. This game is weird because it's like hard, but it's like kind of chill at the same time. Ah, oh, there's definitely a cleaner way of doing that. I missed one. <laughs> I had to keep holding right, I think. That one on the 8%, you probably do end up getting all the coins. What are your thoughts on, like, devs trying to say, Hey speedrunners, uh, come play our game, we made it for speedrunners. It always felt kind of desperate to me. Like, please guys, we made it like Crash Bandicoot. You know? Bruh, that jump. Depends a lot. Kind of like how Grapple Dog released, and Grapple Dog is kind of fun. Didn't really hold my interest though. Um, but they had like that big speedrunning competition, and they were like, the bounty is a thousand uh, for whoever does the fastest world one or whatever. I thought that was kind of neat, but it was weird because it was like the first two weeks of the game is when you could submit runs. It's a neat idea, but uh, I don't know if appealing to speedrunners is really the best way to grow your game, because it's still a very minute portion of people that like to speedrun. What's the timing for this?
Nice. Oh, I thought you could like duck in the in between. Not waiting long enough. Bruh. It shouldn't be that tricky, I'm just trying to go fast. That was a good level. Ooh, this level's gonna be hard. I think I just want to climb both ways since it doesn't penalize me for doing that. Oh fuck, although at the end there's that door. I actually don't want to do it that way, I think. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I was a little bit spooked by the start of it. Like a maze level almost. Interesting, so it's not all platforming. Although <laughs> that jump's a bit rough. <laughs> at least the you can practice it at the start. Unlike some like super meat boy levels, I know. It's kind of funny how Super Meat Boy is such a hard game casually, and then when you speed on it, it's like, oh, this isn't that bad. Really impressive how many, like, thoughts they can convey with just, like, one screen platforming stuff. Like, you got the first level, which is kind of foresty and like a starting area. And then you got levels like these, which are kind of more autumn. Yeah, I just really dig this game. The feel and the look of it is just... Totally vibes with me. That jumps rough. Yeah, it's like N+, plus. although I didn't like N because it was too, um, floaty. Is there a coin there? Why is there no coin there? Feels off. I think I have to not bonk. I just- I just did a little baby bonk. You know what's weird is I kinda wanna play our darker purpose, but I also wanna wait till I get a thousand subs to come back to that series. You know, give it a send off, see if I can beat the final boss. I wonder if that game got abandoned or if they kept releasing updates. 
Don't really feel like looking it up though. Ooh, we're done. I like paused for a sec, so I was like, wait, did I really do it? I think there is a little bit of floatiness there because I died when I had my control stick at neutral. So I might. Yeah, I want to get like slightly behind where I want to end up. But I am getting more used to it than I was at the start. Maybe I want to like go back and like see if that can cancel the floatiness or not. No, I went back too much that time. I don't know if there's enough time to go back. What a bonk. I have to land in a one tile gap three times. Looks like there's wind. Oh, you think that's what it is? It doesn't look like it's moving me. Okay, just clutch it out. Easy. The hardest part of that level is figuring out where I spawned in. The hardest part so far. Where do I jump from there? Easy, yeah. Uh, that was a very easy level. I want to go in the middle, I think. Oh, the level title? Yo, I'm swagging! playing jump rope. Probably can ignore these coins and get them on my way back. Oh yeah, there's definitely wind. There we go. Dang, this game feels so good. Clean. Pretty much all I've said this <laughs> this video is I like this game and it's clean, but it's like all that's going on in my brain. No thoughts, just platforming. Oh, is that a, a part of the wall that I can jump on that like wooden bit? Yeah, okay. That's what I needed to know. Wrap around. Six, six, six. Actually, those look like bees. B B B. The sequel to B B B.
No, 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 I'm feeling so fly, like a G6. Like a G6, like a G6. No, 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 I'm feeling so fly. I really like this type of level design, where it's like you gotta puzzle it out, like going in is different than going out. Oh, this is a rough jump. Is this really how you do this? I can't see any other way. Horse waiting isn't very speedrun friendly. Speedrunners just have to deal with it. You think the Zelda speedrunners like waiting for Navi to fly around? Or for Lakitu to stop flying around? Or for Flood to stop talking? And deal with it, because that's what a speedrunner does. Saw my style of doing that evolve, I did the jump and I did the uh, running off in the back. Oh yeah, 1001 Spikes has some great uh, levels. I should actually play that through to the end one of these days. I played it on Xbox Live Arcade on my 360, and I don't think I've played it since then. I might have it on Steam though, I don't remember. Easy. Imagine designing a game for normies. <laughs> I mean, mobile game developers. Granted, it's not fair to generalize, but, you know, Flappy Bird. By the way, guys, do not send mean messages to the developer of Flappy Bird. Because that's rude. Yeah, I just troll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, crap. When I run into the spiky balls, it plays a cool jingle. It makes me want to do it more. Speedrunners don't pay the bills. It's not fair to generalize unless you're doing it against a group that I dislike. Although, yes, that group is particularly bad. Oh gosh, I kept running! Hey, look, just because I'm holding right doesn't mean I want to run, like, super fast to the right. Sometimes I just want to hang out. That was dangerous. Perhaps unnecessarily so. Oh yeah, I got my license. For the new state I live in. I had my license for the old state I lived in, but that one was about to expire, so I figured I'd leave it. Leave it behind in my pass. But they don't give it to you right away, they make you wait, which is kind of cringe. Because I'm a speedrunner. Thanks for the congrats, congrats on the thanks. You got something recently too? You had a dog? What the crept getting? Close. A cat? You got COVID. Ah, congrats! That's like the final boss of getting a cold.
First time. <laughs> First try, nice. We're on day six. Ooh. Is it hard to deal with? I mean, you're okay enough to watch Twitch streams and chat. In Twitch streams. Bruh, how do I jump that high? What the fuck? I like specifically waited. <laughs> Is this jump just like really hard? Dude, what? You have to wall jump? Not like that. One night that was particularly bad, oh yeah. I had some uh, rough times with uh, getting the COVID shot and some after effects from that. But luckily I have never gotten COVID. At least not yet. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Why is this so much harder? I kinda wanna end the video and go eat something. But I should probably beat this race. What the heck? I thought like if you stand still you wouldn't jump as high as if you're moving. Maybe you wanna be moving though? Wait, what? Why did- That's jank. This is mirrored, so this jump shouldn't be harder on this side. I wonder why it was harder. What the hell? Why is it getting a different jump height this time? Most of the time you just had a cough and sore throat. Yeah, it's not too bad. Sore throat can be annoying. Wait, what? I thought it was you had to have a running start, but I had a running start that time. Dude, what? How did I not ledge grab? Eric, where is my ledge grab? Why does the jump just randomly go really high? Makes no sense. And sometimes it works out fine like that. Alright, we beat the level. Uh, we got four more to beat the area. Guess I could do four more. I'm pretty hungry though. Oh gosh. Can you just end slide up? Can I just end slide up? Jump. No. Wait, you're right. I can't do that.
Oh my god, I was so scared I was gonna get sucked in the door. because bro <laughs> that wall is so annoying it kills my speed oh my gosh I got stuck on the wall again I think That saw is so high. Oh my god! I, I only die in that spot. That spot in this spot, I guess. I'm trying to, like, kill the momentum I get from the wall jump by holding back in. But then sometimes it just takes away all my momentum instead of just the momentum that I want to take away. Rice farm. Welcome to the rice fields. Tangle, everyone's favorite Disney movie. Ten times better than Frozen, you can fight me on that. Frozen's ending is so thrown together. Big critique here. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Anthony Fantano back with another Frozen review. We did it! Alright, we got two more locked worlds. I really like this, uh, this little 3D slice of life that they use for the, uh, for the level showing. It's very neat. A lot of things about this game are very neat. Maybe I'll do one level of this just to see what it looks like. The same saws, except this time it's in snow. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright, if you enjoyed this look at right slash right uh, episode one, if I end up continuing the series, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out the Twitch stream where it was streamed live, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.